Thank you, Hannah. First, I would like to thank the AJGA and Leadership Links for this tremendous honor for providing me a platform to raise funds for a cause that has so greatly impacted my life. I'm humbled to have my name among so many great past recipients and nominees of the Jerry Cole Sportsmanship Award and thank them for the passion they bring for their own worthy causes. I thank my coaches, Eric Columbus and Larry Glatton for supporting me on and off the course. I would also like to thank Blake Beerson with CBS Sports Network and Zach Johnson for their documentary which spread awareness about substance abuse. Most importantly, I want to thank my parents for teaching me that life, like golf, doesn't always go the way we want. In 2016, there were 42,249 opioid-related deaths in the United States. That same year, in Iowa, 183 people died from opioid-related overdoses. On October 4, 2016, my older brother Seth became one of those statistics. That day started out like any other. I was a sophomore on my high school team and was excited about our district meet that morning. When I didn't see my parents come to the course, I knew something was wrong. I finished that day with a double bogey and missed state, missed state by one shot. I was devastated. It wasn't until I got home that I realized what devastating really was. My brother Seth was found in a hotel room less than two miles from where I played that day. Heroin took his life. He was 23. Not too long after, I remember my dad saying to me and my younger brother Roman, we have two roads to go down. One of anger, hatred, and despair, or a road of, hap of hope and inspiration. I'm on the second road and I ask you to join me. Golf has been a passion of mine since before I can even remember. Over the past two years, golf has been a platform for me to make an impact and spread awareness about substance abuse. I've shared my family story with AJGA alumni, Ricky Fowler and Zach Johnson. Through leadership links and other fundraising efforts, I raised more than $25,000, $6,500 of which went to the AJGA's ACE grant program and the rest was donated to the Area Substance Abuse Council in Cedar Rapids, a treatment program where my brother spent time before his passing. Last October, exactly one year from Seth's death, my high school golf team played again at the same course where I played last year. This time, I birdied the final hole to get to our state tournament by one stroke. I believe Seth was there alongside me. I will continue to spread awareness and use golf to make an impact as I go to college and play golf at the University of South Dakota. This room is full of great golfers with great accomplishments. I applaud all of you. However, please remember that you also have a tremendous opportunity to use golf to create great change in the world. Trophies gather dust, but making an impact on the lives will last forever. Thank you and good luck this week.